Now we're going to see what is going to happen when I heat some sugar and also a piece of a candle. So you wrote down physical and chemical properties for each one of those. I'm going to use an alcohol burner. It's going to create a larger flame compared to a candle. So once again, please don't try this at home because um, an alcohol burner you probably don't have access to. So I'm going to start with the sugar. So this is a test tube clamp. And so what's nice about these test tubes is they are pretty heat resistant and they're not going to shatter if they get too hot. So I'm going to keep heating the sugar. Not really seeing anything happening yet. Okay, now I'm starting to see some things happening on the sides. So sugar is starting to turn brown. It's starting to bubble. Can you guys see it starting to smoke at the top? Really bubbling now. All that smoke's coming out of the top. It's turning brown. It's almost like liquefying into like a brown syrupy mess and bubbling and now I can smell it. it smells like burnt sugar. All right. So that's my sugar. I'm going to really quickly rinse this out with some cold water. All right. All right. Now we're going to do the candle. Same deal. See what happens with the candle. All right, the candle is starting to melt. It's turning into a liquid. There's a little bit of smoke coming out of the top. And there you go. My, oops, sorry. My candle is now all melted. Okay. So based on what you just saw, you're going to decide whether what I just did for both of these is a physical chemical change or both.